Yep. Yeah. So this is live, gentlemen, so there'll be no misuse of the English language, except by me. Now, the only thing that concerns me about these little machines is the quality that of the colour that comes up here compared with what you can see there. Well, that's not too bad, is it? That one's more of like a baby blue. Yeah, but it's actually blue, which is quite, uh, quite unusual. Okay, so in there we've got some copper chloride solution. Copper 2 chloride solution, CuCl2. And in this bottle here I've got concentrated hydrochloric acid. Okay, so I'm going to add that in here to create an equilibrium. Okay, and the equilibrium is created by producing that colour there, which is kind of a lime green. Okay, if I was to begin with crystals of copper chloride and add conch HCl to it, I'd end up with a yellow solution. Okay, I started with a blue solution. I think most of you realise that blue and yellow together will make green. Okay, so what we have in here is an equilibrium between the copper two plus ions that are in here the chloride ions that are in here and another complex ion, this time it's called CuCl4 and it has a 2 minus charge. We'll put the, uh, the uh, equation on the board at the moment. So let's just say we've got that at equilibrium. So if I'm able to add more chloride ions in this form here, okay, I think that's probably going more yellow. Okay, would you agree with that? Yep, okay. If I take some water some water, which I'm going to get out of the very expensive water apparatus here, without spilling it on my laptop. Okay, we're going to see what effect adding water to this equilibrium has, so if you watch carefully. Can you see it getting more green? Yeah. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is take a portion of that. All right. Discard some. So we've got our greenish colour here. All right. Then we're going to add more water. Okay, now, we, now it's very faint, but we're back to the original blue colour, okay? It's very faint, but you can see it up there, right? Back to the original blue colour. So we've been able to drive that forward and backwards, okay? So I'm just going to set that up again, because I want to uh, try for that intermediate colour first, because I think I put a bit much uh, concave seal in the first time. So let's start again with concentrated hydrochloric acid. Concentrated hydrochloric Yep. All right, a little bit of concave CL. Okay. So, still a bit blue. It'll be like one of those videos on YouTube. Experience live that shows us how to do something. Right, we've got this beautiful fluorescent colour, okay? Fluorescent green, let's see if we can make it more yellow. Yes, we can. All right, by driving it forward by adding concave CL. And if we add water, hopefully we can turn it back to blue without going off the top of the beaker. Yes, I can. Look at that. Magic. All right? That's the one. 